everyone. Welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen on this Monday evening. Um, so I've got a guest in the kitchen, Wendy. She's not actually doing anything, but she's come down to visit me today. So I said, why not stay the night and label bags for me? <laughs> <laughs> so all your gin and tonics been labelled by Wendy, otherwise I'd have to do it. <laughs> got to make use out of these guests, you know. So uh, thank you for joining us this evening. And um, tonight I'm actually going to use a product called Saraceno. It's an absolutely beautiful product made with, it's got cocoa butter in it. It's a modeling paste. So it's not a sugar paste. It's a modeling paste for making models, okay? And I know there's so many pastes out there for you to use, but I just thought I would show you this one because it, it's actually really very nice. It also tastes beautiful and it smells good. You've used it as well, haven't you? So I'm going to get John to pop over here. We're on here, John. So show you what we're making. So this is what we're going to make now. Um, I'm making this. I went to the Renshaw class. Are we still on here, John? Mm. Yeah. So we've got this little white unicorn. He may not be perfect. This is the Carol from Sugar and Crumbs version of a unicorn. And um, and then I've done a little brown one here. He's got no horn. This one. We haven't decided what he was. I was laughing with Wendy earlier because I said it was me lion and she said, where's his mane? I said, he's got a mane, look at that, that's his mane. And she said, no, the lion's mane goes all the way around the head. So not quite sure what he is, but uh, he's quite cute, isn't he? <laughs> he's a moose. <laughs> he's a what, a moose? He's a moose. Oh, there he goes, a moose. He's a moose. <laughs> so um, it just shows, you know, that you can make anything, you know, you can design this little thing any way you want. So we're back over here. So... I went to Renshaw Academy um, earlier on in the year, I think it was February if I remember, and, um, and I know a lovely lady there called uh, Georgie Gold Bob, Bold, I always get it wrong, but anyhow I really know her through the sugar wobblies and um, so she's a great lady, you'll have seen her at all the cake shows and uh, she's usually on the edible art stand and she is fabulous and I have been chasing her to come on the sugar and crumbs uh, kitchen and do a live for us but she doesn't drive, she lives in Essex, it's a long way and I get that. So I went along and we did one of these, very very similar and um, hers was slightly different and I rang her a couple of weeks ago and said to her do you mind if I do a variation of it? And she said, I don't mind, as long as I tell you guys that she's asked, that I've asked permission and she has said, yeah, otherwise she'll get a hundred emails going, do you know Carol's copying your uh, unicorn? <laughs> we don't want to be upsetting anybody, do we? So, has any of you ever made one of these before or made models? In fact, I'll let John shout out who's here uh, with us and uh, let me know if you've made models before. By the way, if you're new, a newbie, just shout out that you're a newbie. Welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. I'll just explain, it's very informal here. This is my own home kitchen with my husband, John. We have Maria in the kitchen as well. Maria takes little videos of what we're going to make. We do this completely free of charge in our own time. Um, you know, are we professional? No, we're not. Are we hobbyist? Yes, we are. Do we just like a little bit of fun? Absolutely. Do we make mistakes? Absolutely. Do we cock up? Absolutely. Do we get it right sometimes? Of course. <laughs> And my thing is, it will always be all right on the night. So, and that's what usually happens. And I make things here in the kitchen that it, I want to encourage people who don't bake to bake, or people who did bake to bake. Um, and now let's have a go at doing a little bit of modeling as well. And I always tend to be first time at everything. So I made the one at Renshaw in, um, excuse me, I've had Coca-Cola, so got the burps. Um, I made the one at Redshaw in February and then this one here I made on Saturday and then this one here I made today. So um, so we'll get cracking shall we and we'll tell you a little bit about the paste. Um, and we've also used on it this mould here, um, we've used the Karen Davies New Wild Meadow mould for this grass. And I'm not sure whether any of you guys know, but Karen Davies has also bought out three brand new moulds today and they are live on our website. They are beautiful. Uh, there's a pineapple, a tropical fruits and a mermaid. So you can put a mermaid skin all the way around your cake, which is brilliant. So let's go back to what I asked John to do, which was shout out who's here and all you newbies say hello. We've got quite a following already. So hello, we've got Caroline Horn, 
Avro, Quilly O'Connor, Kim Butler, Jane Anderson, Sarah Saunders, Cap Riley, Di Wheeler, Jane Temple, Pam Kerchek, Donna Ryan, good, uh, Linda Diver. Donna's from America as well. Yes. Uh, we've got Deep Singh Bawa, from Tracy India. Savage, <laughs> Sherilyn Degg, Angela Brown, Carol Gattenby, Jean Howard, Robert Allen, Julie Crompton. I love it when John shouts them out, oh that's Steve. <laughs> well, dude, there's loads. <laughs> I'll go on to first names now. We've got Trisha, Deb, Lynn, Haley, Kat, <laughs> Joe, Lynn, Lynn, Sarah, Pam. Well, so hello to everyone. To... We've got Maloney. I've got oh, that right as well. Maloney, yeah, you're like, right. She's going to get shouted out every week now to make sure we know we shout it out right. In case I forget. And I'll have to remember, uh, I think we have Linda, Mil Linda Miles, I call Linda Mills, I call her, and she's Linda My Mills. <laughs> I'm never getting it right, I'm so useless. <laughs> so anyhow, so we're in the kitchen. Hello everybody, anyhow. So I'm just gonna pop this out the way and then we're gonna get on and show you how to make this uh, little mold. I'm gonna take this one down, just so I can copy in, because I do forget. And then let's talk to you about the colors. I'm gonna stick them there, I can just stick it there, it's fine. So Saracino comes in a full range of current colors. And let's get them out. I've got them in this little bag at the moment that weighs a ton. So let's talk about them. And while I'm going to take talk about them, I'm going to break off a few bits so that Wendy can start rolling them up for me and popping them in this bag. Because uh, she needs to, it's very, very firm, this stuff. So there you go. And if you're wondering on what she's popping on her hand here now, we're using a product by PME called Petal Paste. And that's great for like when you're making your flowers. So lots of you use Trex, which is no problem. And you can use Trex with this as well. But I like this, it's in a little pot. And you know, with your Trex, you can even put that in a little pot if you want to. But this is just handy sometimes, just to buy it on the shelf. It lasts for ages. And um, so Wendy's just putting a little bit of that on her hand, greasing her hands up, ready for the bits that I'm going to give her. So I'll take that lid off, because you're gonna keep needing that all the time. Right, okay then. So Saracino do loads of colours and we're going to use a few of them. So this one is called Lilac. Very easy. Uh, which camera are we on, John? I'll pop them down in front of here. Yep. So we've got Lilac. I'll just turn them around so you can see how lovely they are. And I need to give these to Wendy. And sorry about the little rattling. I had some bloke tell me off this week that uh, on my YouTube. I thought it was really funny told me off for having rattling paper. Didn't thank me for going to the trouble of doing a Facebook Live. <laughs> yeah, I'll finish. Right, so, and then we've got this lovely red and orange. I'm gonna use quite a few of these colors, so I'll just break a few of these off. We've got the pink, and of course, if you want to change the shades of them, I need to pop them in this bag. Oh, sorry, you know. See, she wasn't paying attention on Wendy. What was she doing? Smiling at everybody. <laughs> If anybody knows Wendy, give us a shout. She's been there, she didn't know she was coming in here today, so I'll pop them in there. So um, let's see what the colours are going to use. Yes, if you want to lighten the colours, just add white to them, okay? So uh, let's just get this one. Got a nice yellow. I love this colour. We've got Beverly just joined us from Tainworth in Devon, who's a newbie. Oh, hello, Beverly. So, Beverly said reading out all the names is like the school register. I know. <laughs> You are boring reading names, you are, John. Do you know that? You don't put any of them. <laughs> we could go. Where else could it be? Hi, Cat Riley. Hello, Beverly. <laughs> Hello. We'll be here for like till 11 o'clock. No, just a bit more. Oh, we, got, we got Sandra from Arizona. <laughs> Hi, Sandra. <laughs> so, anyhow, so yes, so you can see all these lovely colours. This is the newest colour. This is called Tiffany, okay? So this is the newest colour, absolutely lovely, I love this. So anybody who wants to make anything made with the, like a little Tiffany ring box or something. We've got the light green, the dark green, the brown, um, there's a light blue, black, I don't know if we've got all those on, black. And then there's a skin tone which is great for your faces and then there's a dark blue called azure. So you can see all those, plenty of colours, loads and loads of those, yeah? So what we're going to do is, I am going to make a little Tiffany colour. Let's look out this one. I know, you need a bit more grease in your hand. So, are we back over here? So I'm going to make a little Tiffany colour unicorn, um, mainly. So, to gym up a little bit. Let me just get all these in my bag out of the way a minute. 
And you can buy all these on our website. Our website is www.sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Just go to the brands and drop down to Saracino. Everything that I'm showing you tonight here is on the website. I've got one product that you'll have to go to eBay or Amazon to buy. And I'll tell you about that shortly. Now this product is for modeling and it is edible, but when you, the way that we're gonna make it, you will have to tell whoever you give it to there's some parts that you need to take out okay and one is the cocktail stick and two is the legs yeah so can't eat those so always make sure have you put in anything how many grams are in the pack i think it's 250 for the smaller ones there isn't it yeah 250 for the smaller ones okay and we're going to use the white one kilo does this modeling paste harden faster than the karen davies paste yeah um, just let me show you what else we've got here. We've got the red one kilo, the Tiffany one kilo in stock, and the skin tone. And the skin tone. They're the most popular colours when you're wanting them in bulk, in fairness. And if I was you, I'd buy the white quite a lot. In fact, the skin tone and the white are the most popular all the time. So let me just pop those out of the way in that moment. There we go. Do you, are you waving at me, Maria? Are you waving at me for? For a sardine. Pardon? For a sardine. For starting? Oh, right, okay. Kimberly's <laughs> asking, do we ship to the United States? Yes, we do. The best thing to do, Kimberly, is just message us and let us know what you would like. Um, you can't order direct from the website to the States because obviously all of the postage is based on weight. But if you put an order together, we can then get some postage quotes for you. Yeah. So when you get your bag or 250 grams of um, Saracino, it will come absolutely rock hard as Wendy has experienced. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I've had a couple of ladies go, my God, Carol, this is rock hard. What am I going to do with it? So it really needs to be at room temperature, okay, and to soften a little bit. And Wendy works in a unit where she has it really nice and cool, in fact, freezing in the winter. It is. So it didn't get to room temperature. So she felt as though she had to smash it with an hammer, but you don't need to. Take it home, leave it in the house, and let it just relax and settle, okay? So we're just gonna cut some of this off. Well, Stacey said it's National Unicorn Day. Yes, I saw that. This How come you didn't know that, Maria? Oh, she did that. know it. Maria did know it, which is the whole reason why we are doing a unicorn. So, the person who dropped me in it was Maria. I nearly friggin' fainted. <laughs> and I've done nothing but mutter about it since. So, <laughs> so, so, you'll see that I'm going to cut off some white. Now, for this unicorn, now remember this isn't exactly as George's. Now, you'll need a little set of digital scales. Now, my big scales do weigh, do measure small amounts, but some big scales don't. Um, if anybody wants the link for this, and I know quite a few of you bought them the other week, but if you go to the Sugar Wobblies on Facebook page, or, jo or Georgie Godbold, okay, I've got it right, okay, Georgie Godbold, if you go to her Facebook page, you can buy these digital scales off her, or you can actually buy very similar off Amazon. But these are great for your sugar craft. And um, sometimes it doesn't come with that black writing on, or people make the mistake thinking that's the scale. You do need to take this bit off. And I'm probably gonna struggle because I, so that you're on here. When I was at Renshaw, and uh, I know a few of you will be smiling to yourself because you were at Renshaw the other week, um, a few of the ladies were weighing it on there. So I wasn't and saying their scales won't work, so you must take the lid off. So these are £10 off Georgie. And like I say, you can actually um, buy very similar off Amazon if you can't get over Georgie or you're that desperate you want them on Prime. Okay, so let me just move it out of the way there for Maria. So we're going to measure some bits. So we have to, you have to measure them, all right? So what we're going to do is we are going to have 45 grams for the body. I'm on 49 there. So it's quite important that you measure them. Otherwise, you get them all sorts of shapes and sizes. And I didn't measure the little white one the other day, and John thought he was chubby. I know what lots of you have lots of comments. Nothing wrong with a chubby unicorn, is there? 
So that's my 45. So it's I'll give it's this... also samosa week this week. Oh, Maria, what have you got? We're not making samosas. <laughs> Let me tell you now. And then Karen, Karen Naylor said she makes haggis samosas. That yeah. sounds nice. Well, Karen Naylor's here on Wednesday. She can come and make them here then. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I love haggis. So for the head, we need 20 grams. So you need to put these. Now, let's keep that there. Doing a good job. So see that there, that pot. I'm going to put this pot upside down and then she's going to keep them in there. So let's just see if that's 20. So that's 23. Personally, if it was me, I wouldn't bother weighing any of this. I go by the eye, but that's how I am. But let's say we're going to do this properly. Then for the legs, that's another 20 for the legs. 27. 23. I was saying to my daughter Ella on Saturday, um, it took me all day to make that little unicorn and then I was going mad and uh, I was going mad and I said to Maria this morning, I do not know how I'm going to condense this to an hour. So uh, I mentioned that to you then to Linda. So we might have to do a bit extra. So there's another 20, so that's for the legs. And then we're going to cut off a bit more. We only need four for the ears. That's a six. Two. Twenties I'll give you. Head, legs. No. Body. Head. Wendy, you've got two in there, Wendy's yes, confusing the situation. Two, two legs no. are twenty to make both of them. Don't interfere, Wendy. This is my demonstration. <laughs> this is what happens, isn't it? Interfering, waiting, she's jumping the game. See, but I'm glad she mentioned that because now you'll know where things can go horribly wrong. Right, there you are, there's your four. Thanks. Right. And then we need the hooves. And we're going to do those in Tiffany blue. So in the blue, I've got that out before. What have I done with that? Oh, I'll put it in the box here. So, because we're going to have the Tiffany blue one. So the hues have to be 20. She's dying to know now. She's dying to laugh to see if I've got it wrong. John's worried to death, but don't be. Can you carry on rolling, yeah? I've done them all. Mm -hmm. Right. Right, so when these were rolled all those out, and then you haven't rolled that yellow. Sacker in a minute, she hasn't done all the job. So we've got those ready, and then you need some cocktail sticks. And then Wendy's very kindly rolled me a couple of pre-made balls. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the hair ready first, okay? And all we're going to do for the hair is we are just which camera we're on over here, yeah. And Maria's not in the way, is she? No. So I'm a bit cap-handed as well, so I'm a bit heavy on the hands. So some of you lovely ladies will have lovely, nice, dainty fingers. And if my hands are dirty, then they are. And you'll see there's green up there. Sorry, but I was uh, colouring the green sugar paste earlier for this cake. And uh, it all got a little bit in the way. So what we're going to do is, so how you make the curls, you get your cocktail stick and you roll a little thin piece, okay? You hold it on the end and then we're just going to go around a couple of times, yeah? And then I've got a little tray here, which I'm just going to put them on this tray to dry, yeah? So we're just going to do a couple of those, not too many. And we'll have to do a couple of each colour. So I'm going to do this um, unicorn in pink and Tiffany to make it simple. I don't actually know why I gave her all those colours to actually roll, but it gives Wendy something to do. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> My hand's not hurting at all. Yeah. There we go, so a couple of them. Okay. And you do need to mould it, okay? So don't worry. So get yourself set up in your kitchen, just like we are, and just take your time and mould. So we're just doing a nice little roll. Have I got my hands there so you can see, John? Yeah, so we're going to do a few of these and then I'm actually going to pass it to Wendy to do because she's offered to be my assistant. So have you been paying attention, Wendy? I have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So I'll ju just so that we know that Wendy has been paying attention, because she's now not sure whether she has. So Wendy, we just need little bits like this rolled. Yeah. Just try and thin them out a little bit. Because I'm going to get her to do the rest so you don't have to see me rolling every single one. And then Wendy, you just hold it on the end there. So it is fiddly, guys. All of you with nice dainty fingers shouldn't have any problems, but those ones of you who've got big clumpy fingers like me. So we're just going to go around. Have I kept that on the screen, John? Mm-hmm. Can everybody see okay? All right, did you get that, Wendy? I did. Good. So I'm going to give Wendy a few to do. So I need you to do another four of those, if you will, Wendy. And then see that Tiffany ball? I need you to do eight of those at least. Okay, you can do, you can do five of each if you want. Right, so let's get on. Let's move that over there to you. To me. Yeah. So, yeah, well, you're going to need to put those on there. So do you want to move that out of the way? Yeah, okay. I'm just organising Wendy. So let's get on with the body. So where did we put the white bits? So we need How long does it take to dry? It doesn't take long to dry, so we need to be quick. So why I brought you in, on Saturday, I made all these, okay? Because I thought I was being a proper clever clog. So are we over on here, John? Not one in the middle. Which one? Yes. So, I made all these on Saturday and a load more. Back a bit. Back a bit? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I made all these on Saturday, a load more. They took me for ages to make. And, um, and I've actually had a whole load more, but I've actually broke them all. And I use them thinking, oh, I'll be prepared for tonight. Mistake number one, don't do that. Because when I came to push them into my little friend here, they kept snapping off. So can you see him there? Yeah, they kept snapping off. So I think we need to do them fresh. Right, so I'm going to do that. Then we're going to get our body here. So remember the remember what size they are. Keep them under the little, little lid there. Keeps them nice and uh, keeps them nice and soft. Okay. So for the body, we need the biggest one, which is forty-five grams. Yeah. I'm not really sure that's forty-five grams. Oh, do you know what? Oh. Do you know what? I might actually measure them now. Hang on a second. It's a good job I checked. So, mistake number one, are we over here? Okay, so mistake number one, check that you're on grams on your scales. Okay, I'm not on grams, so I was on grams earlier. Looks like we've knocked it. So, let's put a few more of these on. It's all right, it just keeps me a bit more busy with Wendy. I tell you, this one was going to be on a diet, this one. I tell you, it looks like he had been fed for a few while. So I'll have to get Wendy to mould some more of these. So hang on a second, guys. So easy to make a mistake. And the good thing when you're watching live, John's just rubbing his head. <laughs> Don't worry, John. Um, it'll all work out on the night, isn't it? The best thing to do is just not stress about it. I'm not stressed. So, plus it'll give Wendy something to do. Yes. 42. Um, I think someone's asked if we haven't got modeling paste, can we get the same result by adding Tylo to sugar paste? You can. Yeah. You can, but the thing is, with the with the Saraceno being here already and it's made and it's pre-coloured, the thing when you add Tylo, you really need to leave your Tylo preferably overnight. You can leave it for a few hours, but it's it's best that once you've added Tylo to it, that you do leave it overnight. Well, Karen has. Karen Mary saying that modelling paste is much better because Tylo dries it out. Yes. Well done, Karen. I was going to see if Karen was watching tonight. Now, the queen of making models is Karen, Karen Mary, isn't it? Yeah. She is amazing. And she's just managed to get an article in a magazine, which looks fabulous, of Peter Rabbit. So, well done to Karen there. And Karen buys Saraceno as well. So, I know I've sold it to her a few times. So she'll be able and to tell you how she to buy it. modelling paste, but it was out of stock. When are we expecting more? Um, it's all updated the stock. Okay, so I've updated the stock. So the Saraceno was due for delivery tomorrow. So I updated the stock tonight of everything. But they just told me it's not going to get here till Wednesday. So if you place an order, it won't be dispatched until Wednesday. Yeah. 
but it's all coming in. Most of it's in stock anyhow. I've topped it up. It was the one kilo white I was out of stock of. Uh, the what the two and a half gram, 250 grams of white is coming in on Thursday. So um, that's because Saracino haven't got any here in the UK. It's actually made in Italy, this stuff, so. So. What's so that, what sizes does it come in? Comes in 250 gram size and one kilo size. So I will have to get Wendy to start um, doing some more balls. So there's mistake number one. Make sure that you've got your scales on the right one. I don't know how I manage that, okay? So, uh, got Deborah from Dubai. Hello Deborah. So we've got our ball here so we've softened it up, moved it all okay and then all we're going to do is we're going to sit it on here. So John am I on this camera? Yes. Yeah so we're just going to roll it here okay. Mm. Now you'll see, I don't know whether you can see how I'm rolling this, you'll see I'm sort of pushing it down so it's wider this end and going thinner that end, okay? So I'm not rolling it so it's all the same shape. I'm deliberately putting the pressure on this end. Can you see that very well, guys? Yeah? Anything you can't see, shout out what you can't see. John will then adjust the camera, okay? Can you move the big pot out of the way? Well, as I've got to get Wendy to make some more anyhow, that'll be fine, all right? And then, so we've got them there. We've got a question about sugar paste direct. Did the ready roll come in today? Right, is that Jane? Yes. <laughs> Jane, it's in tomorrow. I haven't put it on the website. I wondered if you was going to ask. So we'll talk about sugar paste direct as well afterwards. So for the models, I'm only using Saracino tonight and I've used it on the Karen Davies mold as well. To cover the cake, okay, I've used sugar paste direct and I found it really very easy. I'm a fan of the Sugar Paste Direct, but Jane did ask me, did I sell the Easy Roll? And I had no idea what she was talking about. So I gave them a call and they now do a new roll, but they did tell me to warn customers about it. The Sugar Paste Direct traditional brand is known for being firmer. The new Easy Roll that they've done, they brought out, they said it's very easy to use. Just put a little bit of corn flour on your, on your um, dusting board when you're rolling it, but only a bit. Roll out and get it on the cake. Too much corn flour or icing sugar, whatever it is that you use to roll, will dry out very quickly. So can you see I've now got this funnel coming up here? Can you see that okay, guys? So that's his body. And to be fair, that's how most bodies for most of these models are made. Yeah, so can you see that? So then we need some more white. So for his legs, we need 20 grams. So I'll get my scales again. So Wendy can carry on doing what she's doing. I don't want me to roll that. Oh, I do actually, to be okay. fair, if you can, you can be rolling the legs bit. Okay. So I'll give you, I'll weigh you the legs. So the legs is 20 grams. Bit. So the head is 20 grams as well. So I'll stick that on there. So just get a sharp knife and slice it off, okay? It is still winter, it's still cold. So in the summer, this at room temperature will be very soft. Because I remember when Wendy phoned me a few weeks ago and she went, oh, that stuff's so hard. And I said, don't be so daft, it's lovely and soft. But I, I was... I hadn't realised, I hadn't even thought about it hardening up over the winter. So does anybody else want to ask any questions, John? John's gone silent. Right, where's that other one, that one? So brilliant, so we've now got the legs now. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll these around and we're going to roll this into a nice long tube. So this one has got to be even, yeah? So not thin at one end. This has got to be even. And can everybody see that, John? 
Mm -hmm. Am I in the right part of the... Yes, perfect. Yeah. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to measure it for pushing round. So we've still got a long way to go yet. So a bit more pressure. So I don't know if Georgie's joined us tonight. So this is a take on the Georgie Godbold unicorn. Oh, look at that. There you go. So that was lucky. So I've rolled that exactly right. So there we go. It's going to go round the body like that. And then you get your water pen. And I sell these on the website as well. And all you do is fill these up with water. Really very, very easy. You unscrew them up there. Add your water and then you can glue glue it. Okay, and we're just going to put a little bit of water on there and push it round. That's his legs, yeah? Then we're going to get a cocktail stick and we're going to stick the cocktail stick right in the middle. So this is the bit that when you make these models for people's cakes, you must remember to tell them there's a cocktail stick, yeah? So if they want to give their children this to eat, an adult needs to break it up. Right, okay then, so what have we got next? We've got their head. So this is the thing that you're going to have to buy off eBay or Amazon, okay? You can buy these, they come in packs, they're really very, very reasonable. Um, they're called piping, what do they call these? Pipe cleaners, yeah, pipe cleaners. Sometimes they were called something else, but they're something else. On the, on, I noticed on eBay and Amazon they had other names for them but I've got these in plain colours and glittery colours but because we're going to do the unicorn in the um, teal I'm going to use this one for his legs so this one comes in a multi-pack yeah and again this bit is what you need to um, tell your customer to take off but to be fair when most people get a model they want to keep it and you can keep it for years when you make a model with sugar paste. So a lot of people, you know, they probably won't let the kiddies have it. So what we're going to do is, we're just going to measure that. So, so that it sits down there. Sit down there. Can you see that okay, John? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm just gonna make it a bit short. So I've never really made anything sort of back to front a bit, but so you'll have to bear with me and my scissors. Maria, what are you doing? Helping with. You're helping with? <laughs> <laughs> so Maria's filming. She's very good at it. She can, do, she can do several things at once. So she's here rolling sugar paste. So there we go. We've got our little front legs there. Yeah. We're going to push down over the body. And then we're going to get the teal. So do you remember when Wendy asked me about the legs, did, it, did I need any more when I said the 20 grams? That's why you only need 20 grams for that bit, it's just in one tube. So have you got that Wendy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, happy now? Yeah. Right. Then we're going to do the hooves. Now you need 20, you need 20, so one ball. And then what you need to do, you need to cut it into quarters. And that's the best way. So we're going to cut it into quarters and I can see already but I haven't cut those very neatly into quarters, so we're going to have to have a little bit of messing about a bit because these need to weigh five grams each. I don't want that one got the lion's share, that one. So, how much is that one? Barbara Hasson said she sent you a pic of a pillowcake with two unicorns on. Yes, I saw it and I commented on it, it was beautiful. So Barbara followed our um, pillow cake and made some unicorns, one in pink and one in blue. I think they were for her grandchildren. They were lovely. Feel free to share, Barbara. So I'm just going to measure these so they're five. It's a bit of fiddling about this, but it needs to be done. So down five, that one is. Sorry, I need my teal again. I forgot that we haven't measured these right the first time, did we? So we didn't originally have the 20. I was thinking that they weren't right. I was going to say these are going to be skinny hooves. So, so 
sorry guys about my measurements any of you that are no, new will know that i just do this live and it's a, you know what we see it how it goes but this is what's just going to happen in your kitchen as well so when you sat there watching me tonight and then the same experience happens to you you'll go all right now i understand right now we're on 20. so let me just roll this together i'd forgot to uh Give Wendy a bigger piece. How are you doing with those, Wendy? Yeah, they're not fiddly much, are they? No, not fiddly at all. I don't know what you're moaning about. Is that making them too thick, are you? Probably. Yeah, because it's looking a bit thick. Right, do you need some more teal for your teal ones? How many have you done? Yeah, yeah I mixed your teal before. Yeah, let's give you some teal. Let's give Wendy, keep Wendy in business. One second. So we're just going to cut the feet now. So four... Four feet. So that one's just a bit off. So I have to admire Karen Mary. I always say to her when she makes something, I say, Crikey, Karen, I don't know how you have the patience. But she does. That one's right. Let's see what that one is. Maria's trying to get a starring role in front of the camera, isn't Maria? Oh, yeah? Are you back in front of the camera, Maria? Yeah. So every now and again, you will see Maria's hand. So here we go. I wasn't referring to that. I was referring to her making some little main things. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> right, there we go. Right, so we've got four equal pieces of our 20 grams. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to roll these up into balls. So we've done some teal ones now. Do you want to leave them on there to wrap them? So we're just going to do these into balls. <coughs> Any questions, John? So, and then you just need to shape these a little bit. So we're just going to put our finger down like that on the ball. Can you see that? So we're just going to put our finger down. That's all we're going to do. So you make it into balls and then just pop your finger down. And then we're going to get our little glue pen. It goes here. We're going to get our little glue pen. One there, one there. So I'm going to stick his big paw there. And this big one here. And then from your tool caddy, we sell these as well as a set. We're just going to put that little down there. Yeah, so he's on there. And then for these here, we're just going to stick that in there. Sorry, it's very difficult trying to work. You know when I get people in the kitchen, I say, you need to show the audience. So, well, but it is difficult trying to work from the back. So all of you people who've been in the kitchen, I now understand what you're going through. So we're just going to do this one as well. Sorry, all my hands in the way. And then we're going to... Just open the legs a little bit. I'm going to push them in there. there. And then Question. We'll... Karen's asked, in the background there's a cake box with an acetate top. Is it for cupcakes or for bigger cakes? Is there an acetate top? Acetate. I assume it's that one. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, we do. Right, okay. I'll get Maria to get them off for you in a second. I'll show them you in a minute. There's two. There's one for big cakes and there's one for cupcakes. So we've got his hooves on now, guys, yeah? Are we still on this one? Which one are we on? We're still on this one. Can we see this one okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, did I give you the 20 grams, the other 20 gram one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we need the one for the head now. So let me just check that this is 20 grams. Yeah. There we go. So I'm just going to roll this one now. 
And then this one, you roll it into a ball, and then what we're going to do is, we're gonna just, I don't know whether you can see what I'm doing there. I don't know what shape you'd call that, but basically this is what we're gonna do. It's really nice to work with it, and it smells absolutely delicious. So we're just gonna pull his face forward, you can make his snout as wide or as thick as you want. You can have his head that way in a big wide snout if you want. Or you can do him a more narrow snout. And you can decide which way you want his head to tilt. So you can have it forward or you can have it sideways. Whichever way that's entirely up to you. So we're just going to do this one. So we're just going to poke him on. Okay, don't need any glue. I'm going to poke him on and there's his head on there. Yeah? And then we are going to colour tone this with, I think we'll use this lovely red colour. I think this will go really nice with the, uh, we're we using pink, aren't we? So let me, we'll use the pink, sorry. Get myself carried away now, changing the colour scheme. Don't be yawning, John. People can hear you. <laughs> Hold that yawn, John. Hold that yawn. So we're just going to quickly roll this out. Where's my rolling pin? Did anybody hear that big yawn off, John? It was big enough, wasn't it? So we're just going to take this off. I'm going to hold that. And then I've got some little love heart cutters here. And... Um, forgot to bring in my spatula knife with me. So wait a minute, it's got a little bit of the blue glitter on. So I've got some little love heart cutters here. So we'll Samira just... says she loves unicorn so much, can she please have a shout out? <laughs> there you go, Samira. Samira. <laughs> Samira. So Miss Samira loves unicorn so much, can you have a shout out? Hello, Samira. Richard said it made him yawn as well. Did it? What? What, what, you yawning or me? I hope that's John yawning made you yawn, Richard. Right, so we're just doing these little heart shapes here. And then what we're going to do with these are, where's my water pen again? So it's amazing, you put things down and it's, you, you lose sight of them. So we're just going to put our water pen there. And then we're just going to put the little love hearts on there for the bottom of his hooves. Now, if he's not dead straight, I'm really sorry, just because of the way I'm having to do this. So we're just going to put that on there. Yeah, got that? Right. And then we're going to make his ears now. And I need a bigger love heart. So I think that's those hearts down right here. We sell these in the kits as well. Yep, there they are. So, I think we're just going to use the bigger one. These are the Cake Star range. We have these on the website as well. And then I need some little Tiffany blue ears. Some little white ears, sorry. And we're going to put Tiffany blue. Did I give you the white blue blue for the ears? No, I didn't. No. So we need four grams for the ears. And I will write these up on the website for you after, if anybody wants to know. So we want four grams for the ear. Slice this off. And with your sugar paste, always keep covering it up. Don't leave it out to dry, yeah? So you'll notice that I've got a little tub on here. Are you here, John? Where are you? There or there? So you notice that I've got a little tub that I'm actually, this one? No. This one? Right, that I'm just gonna keep there just to keep my little bits nice and soft. So we've got our four grams of white, and if it's in a big bag, just make sure you keep fastening the bag, turn it upside down. So this is gonna be for our ears. So we'll just roll these around. Make sure we cut them in half.
So yeah. Could be a, could be a bit of a thing, this measuring lark, isn't it? I think we're nearly there. Right, throw them in there. So hopefully John will stop yawning in a minute. Stop pacing the kitchen. <laughs> He's doing little wavy signs at me as well. <laughs> and what we're just going to do is I'm going to push those down. I'm going to use this bigger heart cutter. Now what, this wasn't the way I was shown, but this is what we're going to do. So where's that big heart cutter that I just had to pull? There it is. So I'm just going to use this big heart cutter here. Yeah. We'll see what I'm going to do with these in a minute. I quite like this little trick that she did. From the little toolkit, and we sell these tools as well on the website. Let me just make sure I've got the little one with the ball. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to get some pink out. You all paying attention, guys? You're all still with me. Obviously not. John's not responding. <laughs> uh, John, oh. are you still with us? Yes. Is the rest of the audience still with us? Yes, I think so. Okay. Yeah. So we'll just take these little pink ones out. You think they are? Yes, there is life. There is life. <laughs> there is life. Are you enjoying it so far, guys? Are you? I don't think you realise how nerve wracking it is. This <laughs> mesmerise. Mesmerise. Good. That's a good word. I like that. So that little love heart. I'm just going to shove that in there, and then press him down. I'm going to put the love heart in upside down. So this is all Maria's fault that I'm under pressure here to make this little unicorn chappy. Yeah. Then we're also going to get his mane, which I'm going to do in pink as well. So those are his ears. I'm going to just get them a little bit pointy. Doesn't matter if they're odd looking, don't worry. Are we on teal swirls now, yeah? Yeah, we've got pink. Okay. The last two teals. So we're just going to roll this out as well. So you always remember, you only need little bits of stuff. Don't be rolling off big chunks of things. Yeah. So this one, I'm going to use one of my mini nifty nozzles. And because um, it's a great size. So or we might use yeah it's a great size that's fine so we're going to use one of those for his little muzzle it might be just a bit too big so we're just going to poke that in there and let's get those over here dry in a minute can we still can we see this here mm -hmm. yeah so that circle that we've just done there, and by the way, the mini nifty nozzles are back in stock again. So anybody who wants them. So we're just gonna right round his face here. And we're just gonna put on his little snout. Can you see that okay? Can you see that okay, John? Yes. Uh, just teal. I'm just going to do teal and pink. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. So there we go. So we just rub that in there. 
And then that nifty nozzle that we use there, in fact, no, we're going to use, um, we're going to use this one. This is the Wilton 10. And I am just going to pop a little smile. So that I'll try and do it sideways there so you can see. So I'm just going to pop a little smile. Can you see that there, John? Yep. So can you see how he's got a little smile now? So hopefully I didn't dig in twice. And then the cocktail stick, we're just going to put that on the end of each smile. Yeah. Got that. Then we're going to give him two little nostrils. There he goes. And then up here, I'm just going to put in for his eyes. I'll understand why in a minute. They all start coming together. Are we happy with it so far? So then we need some white and some black. So when are you finished doing that, Wendy? Can you do me rub me that black, please? Right. Hey, she's working hard, this girl, isn't she? Which camera are we on? We're over here. Right, okay. So, uh, yeah, working working hard is our Wendy. Should have come down for a quick visit. So I said, well, you know what? You may as well stay the night. And she said, are you sure? I said, yeah. She said, can I help you with anything? I said, absolutely. I've got 1,500 bags that need labelling for in the morning. Okay. <laughs> so you'll see that I've just, I've not weighed these, okay? So what we want is that tiny little bit of sugar paste there. Not sugar paste, modelling paste. I'm going to cut it again. I'm going to cut it again and I'm just going to pop it on the eye there. In fact, it's too big, so I'm going to cut that off. It's all about play and gauging, okay? I'm going to cut it again, roll it into a ball. So you've seen how tiny this is. Okay, and then, oh, where's my pen? Where's my water pen? And then, so we're not fitting it in, the, in here. We're just, we're just going to put that there. What I'm going to do then is, oh, just going to dab that there. It's quite important you do that little roundy bit there. So we'll, round, we'll do the other one. bits on, sorry about that. In fact, I'm going to take that one out because he hasn't got enough. Let's have a little bit more sugar paste. Modelling paste. There we go. Yeah, so where's that black? John, do you want to get me a dishcloth ready? Because um, I'm going to play with this black for a minute. Mm -hmm. And Wendy's going to need a cloth as well. You just said um, there's a clean one up there ready for us. So as much as I've prepared this much, which camera are we on, Maria? This one. From this camera. As much as I've prepared this much, I actually only need the tiniest bit. So I'll put that in here, out of the way. And uh, are you happy, Maria, now you've got me doing this? Yeah. <laughs> she does make me laugh, you know. She comes up every week. Carol, it's such a day. Freaking buzz off with such a day. <sighs> it's unicorn day. You can do your unicorn. I was never so shocked to hear that one. So, can this, is this camera seeing it okay? Uh, I don't know. Yes. Yeah, okay. So, that eye is just a bit too big. So, we're going to pull it off, chop a bit more off. Kids will love you for this one. And then get our little thing there. And don't 
waste your sugar paste either, your muddling paste. Just keep it all rolled up into little balls and put it into a little Tupperware container or airtight container. So I'll just rub this one into a little ball. Let's get some water in there. Are those eyes even, Maria? Has got one eye bigger than the other? One bigger than the other. Oh, God, I knew that would happen. Got to add a bit more to it. John, don't be yawning. I'm not. I know you're not, but just in case you were thinking about doing so. John just loves cake decorating, you know. Never known a man so happy about it. <laughs> Is that even, Maria? Um, yeah. You sure? Yeah. He's looking all right. So shove him in there. Yeah. Then to finish him off, I've got some white powder here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to tap a little bit of the white powder in there. Okay. Now you may think that you're going to waste this, but you're not. We're going to let it dry. So let me get my little paintbrush. So all I've done is tip in a little bit of white powder. We're going to add a little bit of rejuvenator spirit. You can use lemon juice. Do it in your lid because then when it dries, you can put it back into the container. So let's just do this. So do it in your lid. Can you see this, John, or have I moved it out of the way? Mm -hmm. So just keep that in. And it dries really quickly, so you won't have lost anything and you won't waste anything. A lot of you guys think that you, you, know, you make this and then you go and wash your lid out. Well, don't. Just let it dry. And by the end of this session, it will have dried and I'll show you how to put it back in the pot. So we're just going to give it a little mix. I've had to make a lot for what I'm going to do, which seems really daft. And I wasn't going to put this on, but when I showed the one on Saturday, somebody said, oh, it could do with a little white for his eyes. So I'm just going to see if I've got another paintbrush here. I haven't. Do you want to just pass me a piece of kitchen roll, please? I'm just going to clean this off a minute because I only need a tiny bit. And when you put the white of the eye in, don't put it in the centre, okay? Because it'll look weird. You need to, and you need to put them in the same place on each eye. So we're just going to add a little dab there. And a little dab there. Yeah, that, that's exactly all you need. You leave that to dry. Make sure you put your lid on your rejuvenator, otherwise it will just evaporate. Then we're going to put our ears on. of things. Just going to put our ears on there. And it doesn't matter whether you have them further down or apart. Just don't have them too close to each other. Yeah. Then we're going to make a horn now. I'm going to make a horn exactly the same as what Wendy's done for the mane, but just a bit bigger. So I'll just cut a bit more of this off. Can you see them coming together guys? It's good fun to make these just in any colour really. So we're just going to roll this again. I don't know which camera am I on. Can you see this John? I, I know you show me but can you actually see it? Yeah? Can you see it? Yeah. Not very communicative tonight John. Yes. Yes. So one second. And what we're going to do is 
made this one a little bit thicker, okay? Because we don't want, Wendy's made the other stuff thinner because it's for the hair. But what we're doing is we're making this a bit thicker. I'm just gonna roll it round, exactly the same. And then we're just gonna twirl it a couple of times. Yeah, that's going to be the bottom. That's going to be the top. So I'm just going to leave that to dry a moment. And then we are going to start. What have we forgot now? Let's, uh, yeah, got all those bits on, got those bits. And if you see on this brown one here, I've got his elbow sat on his, can you, don't know any, can you see this one, John? You see that one? Yeah, yeah. So this one here, I just bent the arm so that his paw was on top of his foot. So you can sort of move the arm around if you want to. Right, so let's get the uh, gold out now. And we're gonna paint this gold. Oh, in fact, I was gonna paint this gold, but we've got a new painting and I've not tried it. So let's give that a try. That's, this will be fun. Okay, we have got the um, rose gold in by Colour. Uh, sugar flare. Just where's my napkins on? There it is. So well, let's have a go at painting it rose gold. So this is already made paint this is and this is just come in from sugar flare. So I haven't tried it before. This is my brand new pot and this is the paint. This is not the gel and it's rose gold so it'll be interesting to see. So I don't know which camera you can see. Can you see that there? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then what we'll do is we're going to paint our horn. So I'm just going to take what's in the lid. I'm just going to paint our horn with that. No point dipping it in the pot because you have to, you have to just uh, take off the excess. So we'll use what's in the lid. And I don't know whether we're going to need two coats or not. We'll see. Quite a nice colour. Any questions, John? Mm, not at the moment, no. Who's going to have a go at making one of these? Yeah, I think a few people said they'll have a go. Yeah, good. So, loads of you have made that caramel that I made live on Thursday. I was quite impressed with myself as well making that caramel and the salted caramel cake. And remember, you know, you can use any flavor. It didn't have to be salted caramel. You could do strawberries, the strawberry milkshake, the raspberry and white chocolate. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave that to dry now. There. I'm gonna pop the lid back on. Always pop your lids back on, because otherwise, especially when it's a liquid, it'll dry out. So you'll get a, a skin on it. So that's just... Richard says, no matter where he is in the room, he swears the unicorn's eyes are following him. <laughs> yeah. This could be the right. Mo Mona Lisa of the unicorns. Could it? <laughs> I don't, right, so, yep, that's plenty. So, uh, Wendy has been busy working away there, making our hair for us. So do you want to just pop in there, Wendy? So we've got loads of little wrinklets of hair here, yeah? So I'm just going to pull them all off while they're all still nice and soft. So let's get those off. The white ones, it doesn't matter if you break a couple of ends off or anything, it doesn't matter that. So we're just going to pull those off. Just let me get a few together. And like I said, I made a load, pre-made a load on Saturday ready for tonight, but they're too, they've dried too hard. So just do these. What have you got there, John? We'll pull all these off. I don't know how many we're going to need, but we'll get them all off anyhow. This would make a great one for um, when somebody doesn't know a gender reveal cake, couldn't it? A boy or a girl? What is it? Put it on top, mm. couldn't you? Right, so there's all our hair. Let's move that over. And then we're gonna get our water pen again. 
Oh, there's a new gadget out as well. Where is it? That glue pen. Oh. How long do the paints last after opening? Um, well, paints do generally last. Paints and gels generally last for several years. So this one, oh, you, I tell you, you've got plenty of years. I'll probably be dead before this one runs out. But uh, no, I won't be. But the four years, I was going to say, generally your gels have got a four year life date on it. And this is till 2026. So this one is eight years it's got on it, is it? 2026, what are we now? Six years. Six years, is it? What are we now? What year are we in? 2018. Eight years. Eight years. Eight years. <laughs> eight years. If it's 2026, yes, eight, eight years. years. Right, there, confuse me. We are in 2018, aren't we? Yeah. No, mine has been open over a year and it still works fine. Yeah, they do. They do last a long time. And your gels as well, and your powders, they've usually got four years on them or more. And to be fair, they're best before, so you just use your head. Yeah, best before, so you just use your head on whether you think it's okay or not. So what we're going to do now is, so we've got our hair, our hair, so while it's soft... What are the hair curls made from? Can someone just join us? Oh, right. <laughs> it's not my question. <laughs> so, for the lady who's just joined us, we are using Saraceno modeling paste, okay? That's what we've done. And Wendy has been very kindly making the hair curls for us. Oh, in fact, I forgot a bit here. I forgot his arm. So, let's see if that's dry now. So, we do need another stick so again you do need to tell your customer that you've got cocktail sticks and i've just broke it in half so we're just going to stick that through its head so that we can then i'm hoping this is dry it's not quite dry but you know what we're going to go with it so i'm going to stick his horn on his head and any bits that we've got on our fingers, where's that fish cloth on again? My cloth. We'll just tap them up afterwards. Yeah. So then we're going to use the pen and put some hair across. We'll just tap it in there, squeeze it in. I'll try and look for your thin bits. So I'm just going to have one in here. And the thing is, when it's nice and soft, you can stretch the curls, which is quite good. Whereas the ones that I pre-made on Saturday, and I've just broke this one as well. So if you break it, don't worry. Just stretch it a bit. Let's just get another one. Push it down with your cocktail stick. Bit thick these wind. Well, Georgie Godbold has joined saying. Hi, Georgie. So, Georgie gave me permission to do one of these. So, thank you for joining us, Georgie. So, anybody who wants the scales, Georgie's with us. So, you can ask her for, to message you. You can message her for scales. Just putting another pink one on. So I'm not doing it exactly the same as George's. Everybody has their own look. And when you do your own, you won't either. So we're just putting on our hair. How would you describe your look? How would I describe my look? A bit like a jippo, maybe. <laughs> a bit rustic. That's usually my favourite one. <laughs> so I'm just going to... Do around the back of his head here, paint it with water. And then, all right, Wendy, what are you laughing at? Nothing. No. So just press it on with your cocktail stick. And get a few more of these on here. Cocktail stick's coming really handy. So don't forget, guys, when you're making these, because I did have a lady comment the other week on one of our lives that she would have liked to have seen it made without a cocktail stick, holding it together. 
and you just cannot do that that's the thing it's unfortunately you do need something to hold these things together so then let's get his tail on so we're just gonna go around here let's wet his tail pop his tail in go on wendy what are you going to say i was going to say who makes the um sticks out of the sharon davis does god i've seen somebody yeah there. So Karen came on the other week and she makes, instead of, she uses cocktail sticks, but sometimes with the modeling paste, she'll, she'll make these really very, very thin and then she'll use them. Wendy, some of your, you need to have a little chat about making these a bit thinner, Wend. Not that I'm one, hair like me. Not that I'm <laughs> one to complain about the tools that we have. Maria, are you in the camera of anybody else? No. No. We're just going to put these in, push them in a little bit more. Not that I want to complain, Wend. It's all right, I won't be hurt, Carol, if you sound rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Some nice, thin, delicate ones would have been nice. I was modeling off my own hair. <laughs> nice and thick. It's well, I've got very hairy until I put my GHDs on it. <laughs> I've got thick, I've got very thin hair. So, so you'll see that I just keep pushing these in here. You just keep putting as many as you want on, really. them in. I'll give him a nice big fluffy tail, haven't we? With this lovely thick hair that we've got. Can't be a thick head of hair. <laughs> thick so, and the good thing is, is when it's soft as well, you can just pull it as well, which is great. So just going to push that in there. I'm going to pull that one over there. I know it's a bit tedious you watching me how to do this, but we need to get it all on, don't we? We need a nice thick curly tail. I think we'll use this as our last one. So the lady who's just come on now, or any of you who joined us, we're using Saraceno modeling paste, which smells lovely, it tastes absolutely delicious, and it gives you time to play with it. So like when you're using the flower modeling paste, You've got to be really quick with that, yeah? You've got to be really very, very quick. So let's just go back to painting our, our uh, little horn. I'll use what's in the lid. I'll just go back and I'll paint it a bit. So what do we think? Do we like him? Yes, lots of positive comments. Yeah. A couple of people said you can use spaghetti too instead of sticks. Yes, you can use spaghetti in fairness, you can. And I had forgot about that. But having said that, you don't you still would have to tell the person to take the spaghetti spaghetti out because you wouldn't want a child eating a hard piece of spaghetti, would you? Well I wouldn't anyway. So there we go. Cute. Cute. Okay. So I'm quite happy with him now. Don't think we need to do any more. So what I was going to say is, guys, um, Colour St uh, Cake Star have brought out um, a glue pen, a glue pen, and these have just arrived today. So these have just arrived today, and glue comes out of them. They're not refillable, but they're quite easy for brushing in. So you can either use your water stick, your water pen, which is we sell both on the website, and you can use this to fill up with your water. Um, but some people want to make sure things are more secure and they'll want to use glue. So uh, there's your glue pen, that's under Cake Star. So let's put that there. Let's get the water pen out of the way. 
So everything I've shown you tonight is on the website, apart from Georgie's scales, which you can buy direct off Georgie, or you can go to Amazon and buy something very similar. So they're just the small digital scales. If you message Georgie, she'll tell you how you can get them off her. I think they're £10. And then, um, just looking for my pen, my lid for that, that's it, right, okay. So let's get our cake. So what have we done with our cake? So do you like that, guys? Do you think that's okay? What do you think, Ray? Is he all right? I love it. You love it, do you? Okay. Do you like his very thick hair? Or a little bit of hair, do you know Thank you, Maria. Your job is safe for another week. <laughs> Which camera are we on, John? <laughs> right, okay then. So, uh, so Maria secured her job for another week. Right, okay then. So we've got this one here. This is the one we did this morning. And then let's get this cake here. So I'm gonna, do you want me to show you how to make a rainbow, guys, as well? So what we've done here is, is I, you all saw Karen Davis's. Can you see this cake on here, John? Which one can you see? This one? Fine. So you yeah. can see the whole cake. So what we've done here is, okay, this is a six inch cake. And then what we've done is I've just used the sugar paste direct. It was really very, very easy. And I've used this new color as well, this new range of colors that we've got in. These are the fractal colors, and these are suitable for all um, diets. So a halal diet, vegetarians, vegans, um, you, can use, you can use the fractal gels. In fact, their whole range is suitable, yeah? So those, um, they're great. They don't have the nice top that I have that I like with colour splash. So you do get a bit of a mucky top about that. But otherwise, the colour's really great. And we did only need, I've just dripped a bit on there. We did only need a bit. Wendy was here watching me before. So that's what I've used for covering the cake. And then the grass bit I've used for the, I've used the Karen Davies Wild uh, Flowers Mould, yeah? So I've used the, the whole of this. Wild meadow. Wild meadow, yeah. Okay, so I have to get some of wrong all the time. So um, I've used the whole bit for this back one here, and I needed three and a half pieces for this six and a half, uh, this six inch cake. So three and a half pieces, so three times this and a half a one, and that covered the whole cake. Then what I've done again for this bottom one, okay, I've done it here, but instead of cutting it up, pushing it all the way down, I've just done half, the top half, and you'll see where I've said I needed three and a half pieces. I only did the three, and then that's the half that we're missing at the back there. Can you see that? Yeah? So that's what we're missing at the back. Um, but I just thought, oh, well, well, it's at the back, who cares? We're not bothered about that one. Um, and then I've used some of her um, wild flowers here just to go up the side, really very easy. Karen showed you how to use this the other week. So she showed you how to use this the other week. And then I've used the Cake Star Cutters for the flowers. Do you all know how to use these? Everybody know how to use these? Okay, really very easy. And then I've used, I've used the DK applicator for popping the pearls in. So just very quickly popping the pearls in. And I was laughing at Wendy. Wendy said, oh, I've got one of those, but I, I wouldn't have thought of getting it out just for those few flowers. But in fairness, it, it did save time. Just whizzed round and did those. So we've got quickly put those pearls in there. Does anybody want me to show you how to quickly make the rainbow? So if you just let me know and I can quickly show you how to do that. We have to wait for the, we have to wait for you guys. Yes, go for it. Yes, go for it. We're doing the rainbow, are we? Really very, very easy, the rainbow. So let me just move this to the side there. So I'll give that to Maria a moment. But I need the back, I just need it there, Maria, please. Okay. Yeah, could you just put it down there, please? Okay. Just so we can follow the colors of the rainbow. <laughs> I had to get, I had to look on the internet earlier. I don't know which camera am I on, which one am I on? <laughs> I had to look on the internet to see which order they went in. So, uh, so we've got the colours already, I think. Wendy was doing them before. So we've got the indigo. So the, we've got the indigo and we need to make a lilac as well. So where is the lilac one? 
I've already got the liner here, I made this one before. So this is, again is really easy, I don't know which camera we're going on now John. Do you want to go on one of these now so we can see? Mm -hmm. So all I did there is, so with the, with the Saraceno, um, this is the lilac, all I've done is added a small piece with some white and made this lighter colour. Just make it round it into a ball. We can flatten it all up afterwards with a knife, yeah? So make it round into a ball. Then I'm going to quickly just grease my hands up with some of this petal dust. It's not petal dust actually, petal base it's called. And uh, if you've got Trex, you can use Trex, but this is just really quite handy. So we're just gonna soften this back up. Keep my lid on that one over there. And then we're just gonna start to roll it. Really very easy to make this. And then we're just gonna take it round, get our knife, and then our knife is going to cut it off there. So we'll get rid of that. Doesn't matter if you can see the edges because it's gonna cocktail stick in. So we'll just a little bit of water around the side or glue, whichever you prefer. So that's that one there. And we can we'll cut it again soon. Then the next one we're going to use, we're going to use the Tiffany glue. Again, okay, we're going to give that a roll. Doesn't have to be dead neat. You know what? If you really want to go to town, then you can. But I like to do things just very quickly. And I still think they still look very good. But you know, sometimes you've got people who want to be complete perfect perfectionists well feel go ahead and do that I totally understand that I'm an OCD type of person here at home everything has to be right but when it comes to my cake decorating skills I sort of tend to chuck it together also I am under pressure on the live here to get things done quickly so we've got that one then we need the green John, is anybody asking anything? So do keep your hands nicely greased up, especially when you've had it in the container there. So don't, don't be throwing all your paste away. Do save it because you'll be amazed what you need some little bits for, just a little bit of colour. And then you're throwing stuff away and you didn't need to. So we've still got a long way to go. So Wendy and I have got a full night of it tonight. Her husband's here as well. He's happily labelling, but well, we hope he's happy. <laughs> <laughs> Might like to be watching Corrie with the dog. Oh yeah, Coronation Street's on. I forgot about <laughs> that. It's really exciting, Coronation Street, isn't it? Some of it's a bit boring, but... Be glad when they've got rid of feeling. Can't believe he came back. Mm. So there we go. So we'll just glue this one on. Just really easy. You don't need loads of water, seriously. Wendy watched me. Wendy watched me make the one on the cake earlier. You were quite surprised, weren't you? Yeah, right. because I make mine too complicated. Pardon? I make mine too complicated. Yeah. Show you the easy way. Mhm. Mm That's also easier than how I do mine. Yeah. And to be fair, you're making these things for kiddies. They're yeah. overjoyed, don't they? They don't look at it and think, "God, that's not perfect." So, can you see everything I'm doing on the camera, John? Mhm. Mm okay. So what's Georgie got to say? <laughs> Are you watching Georgie? <laughs> Not exactly the same as yours. This is a Karen McFarlane version, but thank you very much. <laughs> She'll be going, oh, she ain't doing it properly. <laughs> That's not how I showed her how to do it. She likes my thick hair. So there we go. And I just need to go a little bit longer. 
Is this in the camera, this uh, rainbow, John? Is it? Yeah, perfect. Good. So again, glue around, really very, very easy. There you go. Then we've got to do the orange. Might not have enough orange in it. I've got to put orange in here, yeah, yeah. It's great this little tub, just pulling bits out. And then I need the red. So let me just give Wendy a quick job in a minute, then. Yeah. Yep. So I've got enough. And it's just rub this together. Doesn't matter how big these are, you know what, we don't have to be spot on all the time with everything. I've just got a bit of colour paste there. Just do that. So on um, Saturday, my diet went straight out the window because all the bits and bobs kept going in my mouth. Really so bad. This is how nice it tastes. It smells nice, it's doesn't it? Urges. Yeah. I'm resisting the urge. Yeah. It? And you know what? By buying it in blocks like this, it makes it easier than having to colour it all. Because to be fair, when you are colouring loads of bits, that, uh, that takes up an hour of your time already, so you, you may as well just keep these, buy these and keep them stored. So we're just going to do this one. You can do a thinner rainbow, I have done this one quite thick. So you could do it really thin if you wanted to. Right, is that red done one? Yay! Good. I didn't put any water on there. Did anybody spot I didn't put any water on? To be fair, because it's fresh going together, it does stick anyhow. But just to be sure. Let's get that. Let's get that on. Could you just let everyone know what uh, modelling paste you're using? We're using Saraceno modelling paste. And is it already coloured? It's already coloured. And I'll go through the colours again with you. They're really nice, fine. The colours that we're using here are the colours that you can buy it in. So we've got the red, the orange, the yellow, the light green, they do a dark green, the Tiffany, the violet, and this colour here, we've just used the violet, but with a, a tiny bit of the violet with white to give it this colour here. So just a bit more of this roll. I think we're ready to go for our rainbow. Just going to straighten him up and then cut him. I call everything Kim. Wendy was saying before, why do you call everything Kim? I don't know. We always say she, he, don't we? So this is our rainbow, ready to go on our cake. And then you get your cocktail sticks and you push them in there. I felt that one come out the other end. Let's try and get it so. Now this one's going to need a little while to dry and the best place to dry this is... Can you pass us a kitchen roll one please? Mm -hmm. How long did the last one is opened? Uh, this, you must never leave it open, open, okay? I'll just go through that with you again in a moment. So I'm just going to lift up my rainbow and just move it over here onto the pad there. In fact, I'm just going to use that mould as well to sit it on. So that's our rainbow for our next cake. And then I'll talk to you about what we've, what we've got here. So this is Saraceno. It's all on the website. Every colour is in stock apart from the one kilo white. You can buy it, but it won't be um, dispatched until Wednesday. There was a bit of a muck up with the delivery today from Saraceno and a bit of a misunderstanding. Um, they told me they was out of 2.50 until Wednesday. And I said, oh, we'll dispatch it uh, till tomorrow. So I said, oh, we'll dispatch it all tomorrow. And what they meant is they were out of 2.50 till Wednesday. 
but they still held back the order instead of sending it. So that was sent with their apologies. So don't put next day on tomorrow unless you want it for Thursday. Then we'll dispatch for next day. I'm not quite sure what happened. So I'm just going to wait for a little minute for you to all come back. So please start sticking your thumbs up. Let us know that you're back. Uh, for those of you who are watching YouTube, we'll pop the two, well, you'll see that we'll put the two sessions together and then um, you should have one live thing. So sorry for you YouTubers who are watching that um, we had a little break off just then. So hopefully you guys are joining us again in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. So John and Maria are in the kitchen. So is Wendy Preston. She's in the kitchen helping me today. She came for a visit and that visit is... Um, told us she has to help me in the kitchen and label bags, <laughs> which we've now left her husband doing. <laughs> so, um, guys, is the audience growing again, John? So hopefully we'll start getting you all back. Just shout out, hello, you're here. Let the audience all grow again. Let me know you're here, send those thumbs up. So sorry about that, we've no idea what happened, but these things happen with technology. And I was still rambling away with myself. So I'll just start telling everybody what, what we're doing, okay? We are using a product called Saraceno. It's an absolutely amazing product. This is not sugar paste, this is modeling paste. And it's modeling simply to make models. And um, having said that, I have used it in the Karen Davies molds tonight and it worked really very, very well. And I'm gonna try using it in the Katie Sue molds. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work in those either. So the, we do them in one kilo packs, the red, the skin tone, the Tiffany color, and the white. So they come in one kilo packs and they're the most popular colors, okay? Red's always popular, isn't it? It's lovely. White, we always want white so that anybody who doesn't want to buy the individual colors, you can make your own. Skin tone is perfect for when you're making your bodies, your faces, hands, legs, everything else. And then we've got this beautiful Tiffany colour because so many of you make those nice Tiffany boxes and Tiffany ring boxes. So let's just move those out of the way. We've been using white tonight and I think just before we lost the live, somebody said, can you colour it? You can colour it, there's no problem. You want to buy just one kilo of white, chop it up and colour it, you can. Personally, I would buy colours simply because these are so vivid and providing you keep them wrapped up, okay, wrapped up. So keep them in their original wrapper and put them either into a large airtight container or put them into a Ziploc bag with no, you know, with no air in and then you'll be able to use them. They are very, very hard at first. And again, it's the time of the year. It's the winter here at the moment, so they are very hard. In the summer, they will soften up. And if you do buy some and it's just been delivered, do remember it's come by the courier service. It will have been in a in a, um, your local hub overnight. It will have left our warehouse, which is freezing cold, been in the hub overnight. So by the time it gets to your house, he does need warming up a bit. So pop him in the kitchen, let him come back to room temperature and then use it then. The amazing colours that we've got, which camera are we on? You've taken away the big one there, haven't you? So the amazing um, colours we've got, we've got Tiffany, which is a beautiful colour. I love this colour. We've used this tonight. We've got the dark green, which we haven't used. The light green. Can we see all these here, Maria? Yeah, yeah. light green. So these are all in the 200 gram, 250 gram pack sizes. The black. So I'm just going to get Maria to pop them in her bag for me now. Um, we've got the skin tone yellow look how lovely and vibrant these are red the brown which is what we use for this one and we use the yellow and the orange on this one so we've got the brown we've got the light blue lilac i love this color this fuchsia color really really very very nice the orange and the pink and the azure blue, okay, which is the normal blue. So those are all beautiful colours. And tonight, what we've actually made is, for those who've missed it, we've actually made a unicorn. It's National Unicorn Day today. You can't believe it, there's a day for something every single day. Um, and here's the cake that I made earlier today. I made this unicorn on Saturday, yeah? So this unicorn I made on Saturday, and you can see all, I've used all different colours. So you can make your unicorn any way that you want. 
and then I made the rainbow on Saturday as well. The cake I've actually done tonight, the cake I haven't used Saraceno for the cake, but the cake I've actually used Sugar Paste Direct. There's two lots of Sugar Paste Direct. I've used the traditional one and I found it very, very easy to roll. And I used this new gel that's out that we've got by the Fractal Colours. Um, I'm a great fan of the Colour Splash range. But I do get a lot of people asking me, have we got a range that's completely free? So this is free for, um, free for, suitable for vegans, vegetarians, it's suitable for halal diet, um, and, it, and it's great. We do a whole range of colours in the Fractal range. So, and this is the light green, this is out of this green here, I've done this light colour and a darker, just slightly darker. So hence you have to, excuse my mucky fingers, are we um, going to do packs of colour? I'm not sure, what, it's Lynn Feather, I'm not sure if you're referring to the Saraceno or the Fractal colour. Yeah, so Lynn, if you message me and to ask, tell me what you want me to ask, ask me, ask me what it is you want to ask, and then I'll see what I can do for you. Um, so I've also made the flowers out of the Saraceno as well, and I used the Saraceno in Karen Davies mould, the Wild Meadow, so you'll see some of these, this is all, this grass effect here was all done by the Wild Meadow silicone mould of Karen Davies. And um, on here, you'll see, I'll show you the mould. That's not that one, where is it? So, I'll show you the mould. This is the Wild Meadow mould. Can you see that? Yeah. And for the cake, for the taller version, I've used the whole bit. We needed three and a half of these for the six inch cake. So, I presume with an eight inch cake, we only need four. And then for the se this second layer, all I've done is, rather than fill the paste top to bottom, I just filled the paste halfway along to top, yeah? And then all I've done is just dusted it up with a few colours. So that's the Wild Meadow mould, and that's on our website. And then this, today, I decided to make this little brown chappy here. And um, I thought it was a lion until Wendy arrived, and she said a lion has a mane. So this is our little brown unicorn then. <laughs> Set with no horn either so just dropped it on its face there so that's that one and then this is the one that we've made live tonight so can you see all three in there maria yeah and then we've also made the rainbow tonight as well so can you see everything yeah yeah so everything that we've used tonight is actually on our website. There's a couple of things that's not on our website. So I've used the DK applicator for the pearls, all the colours, all the Saraceno, the things that all the cutters, the things that I have that we don't have on our website are these bad boys, which are the pipe cleaners. Okay? You can get them in plain colours or you can get them in glitters, and you'll need to buy them off Amazon or eBay. Um, you do need a little set of scales and I will pop, I'll get Maria to take some pictures of these tomorrow and we'll pop them up on the recipe site. I know it's not a recipe but I'll pop them up on there so that you know all the weights for, for putting these together. So sorry for that interruption. So sorry for that interruption. I realise I've had my glasses on my head all night, haven't I? <laughs> so I'll, I'll put them on to see. <laughs> So, sorry for that interruption, guys. Um, thank you for joining us. Everybody back again, John, do you think? Yeah, most. Yeah, okay. Um, so, if you want to see the whole live feed, so anybody who sees this second section, if you want to see the whole live feed, it will be on YouTube tomorrow because Maria will paste both, both bits together. So, after lunchtime tomorrow, it should be on YouTube there. Please post us your comments and your feedback. Um, for the sessions, please like and share. If you've come back for part two, please go back and share part one. So like and share, like and share, like and share. Everything is on our website, www.sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. And I'd like to say, as per usual, thank you very much for joining us in the kitchen again tonight. Maria's putting her arm up. What do you want to say, Maria? Will everyone do next Thursday? Oh, I was just going to tell them that. So next Thursday, so Thursday morning, you know that we do a session on Thursday mornings. So Thursday morning, I am doing Nifty Nozzles. On the website, I've got a bundle deal for our extra large size nozzles. They're half price. So I put them on there, especially for half price. I know you're wearing them up, aren't you? Yeah. 
And tonight, Wendy came in and she saw a cake on my um, table. And what was your first words, Wend? What was that nozzle? What was that nozzle? The sun dancer, she said she loved it. And that's going to be in the set as well. So I'm going to be using them. I'm thinking of making um, a topsy-turvy cake. Um, I'm not sure yet, but I'm thinking that's what I'm going to make, a topsy-turvy cake, and I'm going to decorate it with the extra large nozzles. So if you haven't got them, it's the whole set of 14. Remember, these are the genuine Russian piping tips. So that will be 11 o'clock live this Thursday. Now, next Monday, I've got Carol Haycock back from um, FMM Cutters. She's here, and she's going to be using all their new molds as well. And she'll also be showing you how to make a rose with the Easy Rose Cutter, because so many of you asked for that one. And um, she's going to be using the Adorable Baby, the Princess, the Tiara, whatever we can get made in that um, two-hour session she's going to make for us on Monday night. Then on Thursday, the 19th, I've got Jackie and Rob Allen coming. Now, um, that's the last, that's the last um, session next Monday. Um, because I'm going away on holiday on Thursday. So Jackie and Rob are coming on the Thursday morning. I will be here and then as fast as they're finishing, I'm leaving them to clean the kitchen while I run off to the airport and go on holiday for two weeks. Now, don't worry, there's no Facebook Lives on the Monday, but Laura's going to be here on the Thursday mornings baking for you. And she's got some really lovely treats. And um, she's promised me she'll have a hair back as well, just in case one or two of you moan. And, um, and then she's going to make some lovely treats for you. Uh, she has told me, but I've got to remember, I'll be honest, got a memory like a sieve and I've completely forgot what they are. So we're going to be here every Thursday, but we've got two Mondays missing because I'm away on holiday. So I just want to say a big thank you for joining us again tonight. And Maria's popping her hand up again. So what else have I forgot? Are you going to show the boxes? That's oh, asked. somebody asked me about the boxes. Well done, Maria. Good on you. <laughs> Hey, Frankie, I knew there was a reason why you work here. <laughs> and like, your job security has been really good tonight, hasn't it? She's such a smashing girl, honestly. I do take the mickey, but she's such a smashing girl. Let me just tell you about these. So, because um, somebody asked about them earlier. These are new in, okay, and they come in two colours. They come in gold and silver, and there's the cupcake box and the large cake box for a 10-inch cake. So you've got a window there so you can see it. So that's the large cupcake, uh, the large cake box, and they also do it in pink and blue, which is fantastic. But what I really like is, is I like the cupcake boxes. For these, now, they've come up with a clever little idea. Well done to this company for thinking of it. So you have your insert inside, and the insert is a double-sided insert. And I've got to be honest, when I first read about it, I thought, how have they managed that? So your insert is, you can have it that way for your um, six cupcakes, so that's your normal cupcakes, or you can turn it that way for your mini cupcakes. So for all of you who are buying those mini foils off me, your mini cupcakes, so you've got six cupcakes there and 12 mini cupcakes there. So it's quite versatile, this box. And again, this comes in the matching um, gold and silver to go with the bigger box. Yeah, when you do that. <laughs> and then we've got the in pink and blue as well. And then there's some matching cup baking cases to go with them. So we've got the blue, and I don't know where the gold is. Oh, there they are, in front of me. So we've got the blue um, marble effect baking cases and the gold and silver ones as well. I'm hoping they're gonna bring out a pink range. I've not seen the pink yet, so you can see that lovely blue color. Can you see that, John? Mm -hmm. And then they've got the gold and silver there. So I'm hoping they're gonna bring out a nice pink one to go with them as well. Um, these cases are new on. These are the new scallop cases. These are fabulous, these are lovely, and I think they come in packs of 200, I think, maybe 500, I'm not sure, but they do them in red and white. So packs of red, packs of white. So they're great fun as well. So that's for me now for the I'm done. Did you get that back in there, Wendy? Good girl. See? 
Hey, it's used to Wendy. We're working all night tonight. We're on the night shift, aren't we? Yeah. So, um, so again, thank you for joining us. And I will see you on Thursday. I'm not going to bake the uh, topsy turvy cake here for you, but I will be able to tell you the measurements. But we're going to decorate it with nifty nozzles, so I'll be able to show you how to two tone, triple tone, and how to use the extra large nozzles. And we'll make something really pretty with those. Yeah. So I would. Any questions there, John? Before we leave. No. No. Right. So I don't know whether I put this in your way, Wendy. Do you want to just move them out of the way, Maria? Thank you. So, oh yeah, the cornflower dusting pouch is on our website. In fact, everything we've used tonight is on our website, www.sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. You know that we do this live because um, I'd like you to pop over to our website and buy some of all the lovely goodies I've shown you tonight. And I'm just going to say goodbye now from me, from Wendy, Maria, and from John. I know one of you's just asked, is John in the kitchen tonight? He hasn't fell asleep even though he was yawning. Come on, John, tell them you're still here. I am still here. <laughs> he nearly went into meltdown when the internet crashed. So I think we've finished five minutes early. Well done. I'll see you on Thursday morning, 11 o'clock. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget those thumbs up and likes. Don't ping me off yet, John. Give him a chance to say some <laughs> likes and love hearts. Get pinging because he's going to turn me off now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you.